Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel today. What's the fuss? Well, I hope everyone is doing well, staying warm. Temperatures are supposed to go up this week, up into the 40s and the low 50s. Might even get to the middle 50s. We'll have to see what Mother Nature decides. So, today I have for you a little bit of an Aldi's haul, also Dollar General, and local grocery store not even five minutes by car down the street from my home called Ghouls, I-G-A. Um, that's G-O-U-L-D-S, Golds, Golds, Ghouls. Everybody has a, a different way of saying it, but I um, had to run in there for a special item that I was craving so bad that I can't seem to find, not even in the Walmart. And um, couldn't find it in all these either. They don't carry anything in this particular flavor that I was looking for. So, without further ado, we're going to get on with this haul right now. And I have another surprise for you. It has to do with candles. So, anyway, and wax melts. And you'll never guess who it is that is now in the Dollar General stores. So, anyway, we're going to start off right here. We ended up getting these... Um, 16 mega rolls equivalent to 64 regular rolls. This is the Angel Soft um, toilet paper. There's supposed to be 320 sheets per mega roll. So we got one of these. Let me turn it this way. Stocking up on toilet paper again. If you see it, grab it. Throw it in your closets, your back spare rooms, whatever. So we got one of those. And then we picked up the second. Hubby said, better get two. So, stocking up on the toilet tissue again. So, here's another one. Another big thing of this. So, that's, um, that's, uh, let's see, 16, 16 is 32. But 64 and 64 is 128 of regular size rolls of toilet tissue. So, we got that. Shove that in the closet. Okay, then... I'm going to save the other Dollar General stuff for um, towards the end of the video. I'm going to move on with here. This is the Ghouls Grocery Store by my house. And it's pronounced Ghouls, but I think it's found also Golds with a U. So anyway, every I know calls it Ghouls, I-G-A. So um, this is the Pure Cane Sugar, Quitstown, Pennsylvania. Um, this is the white birch beer. These are 24 ounces. They were $1.29 in the Gulf. I love white birch, but I like brown birch. So, got two of these. It's the only thing I can find. Couldn't find any two liter bottles in any brands. Just these. And I've had this before many a times. Um, not only from ghouls but I've also had it from when we go to like the hometown auction which is in hometown Pennsylvania um you might find this in other auctions if you go to auctions so got two of those love white birch but I was looking for um black cherry soda we used to get it by a treat and some other companies no I cannot find it anywhere in a two liter bottle anymore. So, we did find this though in the Ghouls. This was $4.99, came out to a dollar and a quarter a bottle. This is the A Treat Black Cherry Soda made with cane sugar, also. Each bottle is 12 ounces, and this was $4.99. And then there's the bottles. So, the only way I was going to get Black Cherry Soda. So, got that. And the white birch, like I said, from the Quitstown brand. Um, I like old-fashioned sodas, as they call them, because of the flavors. And the last thing I picked up in there was something I couldn't find in Walmart either. Um, my local Walmart doesn't have them. Um, the ones that I go to out of town, nobody has them. I don't know why. But um, because the plant, the Weiss chip plant is about 20 minutes down the interstate from my home. My husband used to work in there. Um, and they make all the wise potato chips. But 
we're so local to it. I don't understand why my Walmarts don't carry it, but the Ghouls does. And I had to get myself a bag of this 7.5 ounce bag. These are um, not pre-priced, but the store had them on. Oh, yes, they are. I'm sorry. For $4.29 a bag. Store had them on two for seven this week, any kind. I love the onion and garlic potato chips. I just love these. Love them, love them. So, got those, and that takes care of ghouls. All right, now we're going to move to Aldi's. Today I went in to two different Aldi's, my local one and 20 minutes away down the interstate. I'm sorry, but I'm, I'm sipping on some iced tea. I'm very parched, people. The more I drink, the more parched I am. Just can't get enough. Okay, so I went to two different Aldi's and nobody had any of the new um, candles that three weeks that were supposed to be out starting Sunday. Probably, I would guess, Monday or possibly Wednesday, tomorrow or Wednesday. If they're not there by Wednesday, then they're just not getting their trucks quick enough. But that's not the only thing I didn't see. There was a lot of stuff that was supposed to be in the circular today. It, food wise and stuff that wasn't there either the shelves were practically bare in um the aisles that was the aisle of shame there, there there's only stuff remaining from last week and the weeks before still you know some of it hanging around but a lot of bareness in the store a lot of bareness so um food aisles a, a number of the food aisles was um wiped out too and I went to two different Aldi. So what I did find was these items that we are going to use apparently um, during the week here and possibly into the following week. Some of the stuff is a little more dated out. It's not going to expire in a week's time. But um, my husband picked up these, um, the Moser, Moser Roth um, private collection of chocolate, the bright, private chocolatiers. Um, this is the chocolate truffle, sea salt caramel flavored, chocolate mousse, naturally flavored vanilla and almond. You get 12 of these truffles in here and the total weight is 529 on these truffles. My husband picked them up. And that's the th uh, four flavors is sea salt caramel, naturally flavored vanilla, almond, and chocolate mousse. And it shows you that right on the back here. So he got a box of these. I guess this is maybe part of the Valentine's stuff, or is it just the everyday lineup? I'm not sure, but my husband grabbed these. Then I got some bagels. I have plenty of cream cheese. I did not need to get cream cheese. I bought um, the dual pack, the bundle pack, dual pack um, in Walmart. I had bought um, two of those dual pack combos for anything that you need, cream cheese, including bagels. So um, these are the 20 ounce, and you get six of these. These are the Love and Fresh bagels. They're very, very soft right now. They're extremely soft. I just got the plain ones today. They did have the everything bagel, but we don't eat those. We do eat the blueberry, and they also had the cinnamon raisin. But I went with the plain for a change in case I want to put ham and cheese on a bagel or egg, cheese, and bacon or egg, cheese, and sausage. So I got the, the plain ones, just not for cream cheese, but like I said, if I want to add meat, cheese, or egg to them also, they're very soft. These are very, very soft, and they're huge, and they're big, and they're tasty. These were $1.95 in the Aldi. Okay, then... I picked up one package of these. I'm going to try them, and um, if I like them, I'm going to get go back and get another pack or two of these because um, I never had them before. This is the um, Priano, um, Priano brand. This is the lobster ravioli. Tender ravioli with pieces of lobster, rich ricotta, and mozzarella cheese. Um, 
Dinner is ready in four minutes. This is nine ounces. And no R B S T cheese, whatever that is. I'm not sure what they're talking about there. But anyway, um, it's nine ounces and it says try serving with creamy Alfredo sauce and chopped fresh parsley. But these are the it says that right up here in the corner. But these are, like I said, the lobster raviolis. And and they, they're like, um, look at that. I don't know, is that a dark colored dough shade? Or is that kind of like a yellowy color to the dough? And then a red dye to make it that um, double color, dual color for their um, lobster ravioli. If you turn around this way, you'll see it. See, they are quite sizable. I'd say they're the size of a normal size, regular ravioli. Um, that you get in a restaurant or if you buy frozen raviolis. There are the square, they're not the round shaped ones, but yeah, got a pack of these. I don't remember what the price on them was, but I picked them up. My husband doesn't like stuff like that, so that's all for me. Okay, then my husband picked up these. I was going to grab them, but he grabbed them quicker. This was the family size, again, of the Priano, Priano, however it's pronounced. This is the three cheese tortellini. Uh, it says dinner read, in ready in two minutes. This is 20 ounces. It's the family size. And it says try these with marinara sauce and a sprinkle of Parmesan cheese. This is a huge package of the, um, what the hell did I just say? The three cheese. It's a blend of ricotta, mozzarella, and Asiago cheese. People use um, these cheese tortellinis. They use them in like um, a chicken soup, um, a chicken cheese tortellini um, noodle soup of a kind, or you could just have them on a side, you know, with sauce and stuff like that. So we got a big pack of these. Haven't had them for a while. Um, just cheese tortellini in general. Okay. And then we picked up again by this um, Priano brand which is, they sell sauce, they sell other things by that name and all these. These here are the spinach cheese manicottis. This is filled with spinach, ricotta, romano, and parmesan cheese. And it says serve with the, with the Priano, a marinara sauce, and garnish with Parmesan cheese, which is also you, the, the sprinkle cheese. That's also by the Priano brand. You can find, there's so many products with that name in all these. But this is 19 ounces of fresh manicotti. It's fresh. And you get 10 of these in. If you're just one person, you want to make, you know, maybe three or all five. This could be a meal. This could be a meal if you're single. Or if you just want three, you can actually get, you know, three three times the meals out of this. Just one time, have an extra one, a fourth one. However, you want to divide these up with salad, garlic bread, whatever. My husband said about getting me. So, this was five fifty five, and it's fresh. Just like the other pastas are. They're fresh pastas. They're not made from, you know, dry um, pasta. So we got those. Then cherries are out, people. Hello. Yep. The bean cherries are out. And these were going for, oh, my God, I think it was $3.99 or $4.39, something like that, a pound. Love when the cherries come out. They always come out, you know, January, February. Um, You'll see lots of cherry products in February, too. So, I'm not sure how much is in here, but it, it's like two, two big oversized handfuls, or possibly three. Um, I just wanted this much because I can always get more. My husband does not eat these. These, again, are all for me. I look forward to cherries every year. The big cherries. For sure, you can get cherries in a jar anytime you want them. But these, hell yeah. People love these. So, I got... Um, I'd say this is probably over a pound in here. 
icing bags that were filled really high. You know, just take out what you don't want and add to another bag somebody else, you know, will want. Just wash and rinse them really good and enjoy. They'll got cherries. And they'll be popping up in the other stores too, like Walmart and your other grocery chains. But all these have them. Okay, we haven't had these in some months. We were really hooked on them at one point, but we got them again tonight. I think they're three oh nine up um container now. Three dollars and nine cents. This is the um Bremer. Bremer. This is the Bremer every day. This is the gravy and Salisbury steak patties. You get six of them in here. This is uh one pound twelve ounces. We really like this brand. There it is this way, but if I turn it this way, then it, you can see it that way, too. I like these. These are very tasty. The gravy is very good on these. Great, you know, if you're in a hurry or you just don't feel too well and you just want to get supper done and over with quickly, or if you live by yourself, you can, you know, um, have these and then put others in, you know, those prep meal dish things and then freeze it and just take it out when you need it again yeah great with macaroni and cheese tater tots french fries uh mashed potatoes however you like it with a vegetable so we got these these are really good then i picked up this spaghetti that i've seen so many people hauling this and i tried to remember when i went there today to get this this is a dollar eighty eight for two pounds of regular spaghetti that is cheaper than even Walmart or some grocery stores when they're running uh, macaroni for a dollar a box or 98 cents a box that's still a good deal but this this is from the other um, name that all these carries a lot of price but this is the um, Reggiano, the Reggiano brand, next to the um, one I just told you, the Primo, Primo something, whatever it was called. These are the two big Italian names that you see on products and all these. So this is a two-pound package. It tells you right there of regular spaghetti. I heard it's very tasty. You get two pounds for a dollar eighty-eight. So if you like a lot of spaghetti, like I do. Um, I already have some. I just picked this up. You know, I have other brands that I have in my cupboards right now. But I picked this up, and I, I heard it's very tasty. It's very good, and you get the two pounds for $1.88. So I picked this up. You can make lots of different things with spaghetti. You just don't have to have spaghetti and sauce. Um, you, you can make a pasta salad. You can make a primavera from it by, you know, putting in shrimp or or chicken or whatever you want and then put in like um sauteed peppers and onion and put um, a lemon base sauce to it a cream sauce to it there's so much you can do whether you want it warm or even a cold pasta salad using spaghetti so got that then i picked up this chicken never had it before now i've had the red bag chicken the famous red bag kirtland i mean kirtwood chicken from all these i had it many a times but i never had this one this is the honey battered breasted tenders it says battered tender shaped chicken breast patties with rib meat coated with sweet honey batter this is uh, 25.5 ounces which is one pound 9.5 ounces and this was five something a bag but i never had this one before honey battered chicken tenders uh strips i meant to say no it says tenders breast tenders but they look like strips honey batter flavored one got those you make a lot of different things with these um you can cover them with orange um orange glaze you know um stuff if you want just have them on the side with you again you know mashed potatoes macaroni and cheese tater tots french fries macaroni and cheese whatever you want um chicken alfredo you can use these you know over your um pasta and then put the sauce over however you want to do them but i got these i'm going to try these honey ones out okay then i picked up sauce not that i don't have i always have sauce on hand 
I buy a lot of tomato sauce. You never know when you're going to need it for macaroni or other dishes that require tomato sauce. But this is the Reggiano brand again. This is the um, tomato, basil, and garlic, which I love that flavor. I like traditional, and I also like marinara. I'm not keen on meat-flavored spaghetti sauce at all. Um, I think this was $1.59 or something like that. Uh, this is the tomato, basil, and garlic pasta sauce. These are 24 ounces, which is one pound, eight ounces, one half pounds. Um, I picked up two of these to add to my sp spaghetti sauce collection. We're always buying spaghetti sauce. I have loads of it in my cupboard. I always just, you know, put the later stuff back and push everything forward. But, yeah, picked up two of these. And picked up some club crackers because I haven't had any from um, all these in some months. And they actually had them. These were $2.95 a box. Also had to pick up some seasonings, which were $0.99. Cents. Maybe some of all these are $0.95. Cents. But this is the Stone Mill brand that they carry, which I heard this is actually McCormick's products. This is 3.12 ounces on the garlic powder. And I also got the 2.61 ounce of the onion powder, not salts. Onion powder, garlic powder. Use this in a lot in cooking. And the last thing I got from all these was this beverage. It's the um, Bolt, like a Bolt, B-O-L-T, Bolt House Farms, exclusively made for all these. This is 52 fluid ounces which is 1.54 liters. It's a dairy beverage um, made for sharing the love. Limited edition. This is the chocolate cherry fudge beverage. It's supposed to taste like a um, chocolate cherry milk is what it is. Tastes like the milk. Um, let me see here what else it says about this. Uh says there's 10% juice in here. I don't know. And then it says creamy chocolate fudge meets sweet dark cherries and a hint of sea salt. In this blend with low-fat milk, 8 grams of protein for a delicious treat made for me time. When your me time for yourself. There it is. I read all this. This was, I think, three-something, a bottle for this. So we grabbed it, and um, it says exclusively to all these. Cherry, <coughs> chocolate cherry fudge. So I'm imagining this tastes like, some people are saying tastes like chocolate milk because there's milk in it. I, I would assume this tastes something like a Yoo-Hoo or something. But um, we're going to try it. My husband said, let's get it. So I said, okay, throw it in the cart. If this is really good, we're going to get another bob before we don't see it again. Because who knows if this is coming back next year. So, got that. I would say it's out because of Valentine's Day, you know, around the corner. So, that's what I got from Aldi's. It's everything I got from Aldi's. Just give me a second so I can put this back in here. Because then my husband can take and put this away. Hold on just a moment, please. Alrighty, then my husband took that stuff in, is putting it away. Okay, now we're Dollar General, right here. Back to the Dollar General again. I had to pick up um, two bras. I wear these the most, these kind of sports bras or whatever they call them. I'm pretty sure they're called um, sports bras. It says all day support and comfort. Removable bra pads, there's little area on each side like this on the underside and you can pull the foam um, soft padding thing out if you choose to um, these are five dollars they're seamless comfort it's the pullover bra from the zone pro I always get these they're five dollars a piece and I always get them in the white they do come in like a 
um, a neutral beige, and they come in um, a soft baby pink color, and there might be other colors, but I always get white. So th these are very comfortable. They're very, very comfortable bras, and they go up to um, a 2X in the store. They have other bras, you know, that are, you know, nothing too pricey, but yeah, definitely get these ones, one and two. They're very comfortable and stretchy and um, not cheesy, not cheesy. I've had these many a times and um, you can hand wash them and, you know, line dry them if you want or just, you know, air dry them over a chair or something. But I buy these ones quite a bit. I find these very comfortable, very easy. Um, uh, wisps away um, sweat and stuff like that too always buy these so um, thinking maybe summertime I might get um, a pink and a beige one um, just for the hell of it because I bought these kind of bras in other stores and they didn't live up to their name I even bought ones from Walmart like this and they were more expensive and they, they just didn't live up to the name. These ones really do. And they're, they're nice and heavy. They're not thin. They're very good quality for $5. So I had to get two more bras. And then I got these containers. Um, they're called the Mini Container by True Living. You get a three pack and they're nice size. You can use these for all different reasons. They each come with a color coordinated lid on them. They're a heavier plastic. They're, they're, they don't flex, you know what I'm saying? They're hard, hard, heavy duty plastic. You get three for a dollar. You get a lime green, a pretty um, ocean blue, and a um, grapey purple color. So I bought two three and four. I bought four sets of these, of these bowls. You can use them to make jellos, puddings, put your your sauces in, like um, your salad dressing or something like that. If you're going to work and you need a container, put your salad dressing in. Unless you carry the whole bottle of salad dressing to work in your lunch bag, because I know people that do that. I used to myself. I carry my bottle of a French or Italian dressing in my um, lunch bag when I used to work. But all different reasons. Kids, you can also use it for non-food items. You can use it for buttons and pins and, and, and paper clips and little tacks, anything. Three for a dollar. And like I said, three for a dollar and I bought four sets of them. I might even go back and get another two or more sets. They're hard. These are hard, hard. Definitely worth it. A dollar definitely worth a dollar for all three so got those I will find many uses for them like I said you can set up puddings and jellos in here dressings in here a um, few grapes some um, stick pretzels little pretzels anything for work for lunches or just around the house <coughs> or little food items got those and then this is what I'm waiting to show you. Now, I did not get all the flavors. I did see these, and I, I thought I was seeing things. I had to really look twice at it. There was the three-ounce candle, single wick, in these for $3. That's a dollar an ounce. Then they have this size, which is um, eight ounces, for five dollars and then they had a larger one I don't remember the ounces on it I'd have to go back and check it um, and I think that was fifteen dollars there was six cents I seen I'm trying to remember what I seen I seen one that was called cotton something and then they had the wax melts in these two so I'm going to show you what I got, but let me just tell you what I'm trying to say. There was six cents. One that had to do with, it was called Cotton Skies or Cotton Something. And it just showed blue skies with white clouds. 
and the wax I'm pretty sure was a soft sky blue shade. There was um, very berry, very vanilla, not berry, very vanilla cupcake. Hold on a moment, my husband's here. Okay, sorry about that, but he needed to ask me something. All right, as I was saying, these are the choices in size. Wax melts, single wick, three ounce candle for $3. Wax melts, $3. Also, medium sized jar, eight ounces for $5. And I can't remember what the other ounce was. I think something like maybe 15 ounces, 14 or 15 ounces. That was the larger jar, and I don't, and I'm pretty sure the price was something like fifteen dollars. Okay, then there was six cents. Was one of them was the very vanilla cupcake. Another one was. Um, hold on, just a moment. Mango key lime, mango key lime, cotton skies. There was one, it had um, a spearmint eucalyptus scent to it. And I can't remember what the other two were right now. But, oh, one was um, fresh apples in orchard. And what was the last one called? I can't remember. Something to do with the seas or something. Beachy sea something. They were the six cents, I think. And the variety sizes was single wick, three ounce candle. That would be a dollar an ounce. Three ounces, three dollars, single wick. Medium sized jars, these ones, and they're ribbed and they have a metal lid on them. And they're two wicks. These were five dollars. And the larger one, was designed, um, I don't remember it having the rib jar, but maybe it did. I'm pretty sure it did, but it was larger. It was something like 14 or 15 ounces, and it was $15. I don't remember what the wicks were on the inside. I think that was two wicks also. So that covers the prices, the variety in cents, and the variety in the formulations of how it comes. But you'll never guess who these are made by. These here are, and this has a wrap around to this. These are made by, it says Club 92, Slacken and Company. Scented candles, eight ounces, infused with essential oils. Club 92, Slacken and Company. I don't know if that's picking that up. But, yep, Harry Slacken found his way to the Dollar General now. And this just is a pretty rib jar. It's heavy. It was the $5, like I said, for 8 ounces of wax. Very fancy metal lid on here. Pretty thick silicone um, closure thing here. And it says right on here, Club 92, Slacken and Company. So Harry Slacken has now teamed up with the Dollar General. And this particular scent with the wraparound paper, this is paper. It's a paper label. You can take it off if you choose to and keep the jar, his nice heavy jar. This is two wicks. And this does smell like a mango, but yet key lime at the same end. It has both scents. It's a beautiful fruity scent. And paper label like that on there. It's a thicker paper label. It's not, you know, a cheesy one. It's almost like a plastic paper label on here. And like I said, two wicks. These are supposed to be soy. They're very soft and buttery. 
very soft and buttery, made with essential oils. Oh, and it just smells so good. So I picked up one of those. I picked up one of these for five bucks. I'm going to use it. I'm going to see how good it throws. Even the man who was checking me out in the Dollar General, he couldn't help but to take a sniff of this. And he went, oh, my God, does that smell good? Yeah. A lot of men like candles, too. My husband does. I told you that. He likes wax melts. Okay. So then I picked up one of the wax melts. You get 10 of these in here. I'm going to show you. Just hold on. It's 2.3 ounces, 66 grams. It, again, Club 92, Slacken and Company. Um, very vanilla cupcake. 10-pack infused with essential oils. $3. And you get the 10 pieces. And this one here is in the, you know, the very vanilla cupcake business. But I want you to see this on the back. You know how Better Homes and Gardens um, and Mainstays this past year for Christmas? You know how they made the bottom of their plastic have um, writing on or symbols on, especially for the 12 Days of Christmas business and the Better Homes and Gardens with their B and the and symbol and then the G, Better Homes and Gardens? Well, look at these. These have, these have it too. See, it says right here, C-L-U-B, C-L-U-B, Club 92. So we got two C's, two L's, two U's, two B's, and one 92, Club 92 from Slacken and Company. And these smell freaking delicious too. There they are. And it does smell like a very good birthday cake. It's showing cupcake on there. But let me just pop this out a second. Well, didn't quite come out right, but that's okay. But there's the letters again. And then the letters are on the wax. These are a parasoy because they're soft, but they're a little waxy. Where the candles is more soy. A whole lot buttery. This is just enough to hold the soy together with a little paraffin. Oh my God, these smell freaking good for $3 a piece. I, I, I couldn't believe it. I'm telling you, I, I just couldn't believe it. I said, let me, oh, I said, oh, new wax melts and candles. But then when I started looking, Club 92, and then when I read Slacken and Company, right there, I couldn't believe it. What is going on that Sly, Harry Slacken is now coming to the Dollar General? So... This is what I got so far in this. One of these and one of these. I like the cotton one. The apple one smells really good. It smells like a red delicious apple. Um, the cotton sky one smells good. There's six different scents. So check out your Dollar General for the wax melts. I don't know about those little itty bitty candles for three bucks. This is your better bargain. And the next size up, you know, if you can afford that one too. But yeah, check out your Dollar General. Slacken has now made his way into the Dollar Generals. And um, I'm going to get some more of these when I go back to get more bras. Um, maybe on Thursday or Friday of this new week coming up. Um, I'm going to go and I'm going to get one or two more of these in a different scent and one or more of these in another scent. But I'm going to be testing this out all week. So, um, yeah, really, really good. Um, if you shop on a Saturday and you spend 25 or more, you get a free item up to $5. You can get this for free for $5. By spending, you know, on, um, say, food, toilet paper, cleaning products from Dollar General, you know, whatever you go on the Dollar General for a lot, um, go on a Saturday, and then you can get one of these for free. You can use your five bucks right there on one of these, or you can add if you want um, to it to get, you know, um, a wax melt besides the candle. You get this for free, and... 
you can just purchase one of these. So that's what I have for everyone. And um, yeah, it's supposed to be nice this coming week. So hopefully Mother Nature stays that way because I really can't stand the cold. I'm tired of telling you people. You're probably tired of hearing me about it. Um, but no, I really hate winter. So the rest of the evening I'm going to kick back now, relax, and um, hubby put the most groceries away for me, thank God. And um, yeah, I'm going to relax. I'm going to sit back and I'm watching some documentaries on a number of country um, music singers from the good old days. We're watching stuff with Loretta Lynn, Patsy Cline, Buddy Holly, and all, all those people. That's what I've been doing the past time. And uh, watching people's Aldi hauls and Walmart hauls and some people with um, wax melt reviews and um, hauls just like I do. So until I see you everyone in a few days from now, um, everyone be good, be kind, keep your spirit up. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And um, yeah, stay warm and who knows if Mother Nature is going to do what she's doing, I'll guarantee I'll see people wearing shorts, which I think that's just absolutely crazy, but people do. So anyway, um, take care, and I'll see you in a few days, everyone. Bye-bye.